I uh, just raised on the farm and raised in the church. I guess I had a normal, normal family life. Good parents. I guess after I got out of school, kind of walked away, went in the military, and got a job when I got out, trucking. Got married and had a couple of kids. Well, I'd gotten divorced and got myself involved with people that did a lot of hate and just throwed my hands up one day and said, I wasn't raised this way. Said I'm gonna get me a Bible and learn read it myself and find out what the real deal is. And I don't know, a month or so after that hit my brain, somebody gave me a Bible. And then while I was reading the Bible, I was trucking and had serious radio and they had a a lot of preaching on it different times of day. And the whole time I was reading through the Bible, because I asked the Lord to help me understand. And there was three to five preachers preaching on exactly what I was reading all the way through the Bible. It kind of weirded me out a little bit, so I stopped halfway through Psalms, marked my spot, went to the New Testament. So I understood it a little bit more. And I understood there was a lot of religion running a lot of people off. I was kind of one of them. That was kind of my deal, I guess. The, I'd rather be a heathen than I would be a hypocrite type attitude for 30 years. Yeah. I just kind of like try to tell a few people the truth, you know, instead of the religion. I'm trying to figure out some way to take a few classes or something on preaching and maybe do a little part-time. I guess you can be forgiven for about everything. And he wants us to love him if you read the Old Testament through. That's what he was wanting. All the Israelites, he was wanting to be involved. And that's a lot of people don't understand that, yeah, we can do it ourselves mostly, but I know a lot of times it's a lot easier if we ask him before we start that he wants us to involve him in everything, not just Sunday, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I'm Dan Bayless and this is me.